I may die. Hey everyone, if you were to come into my home, you'd find three things in profusion. Books, of course, sharks, because I freaking love sharks, and tarot cards. Lots and lots of tarot cards. I started collecting them when I was about 22, 23, and it started with just one, of course. I didn't really think anything of it, and then recently I was decorating my house and I pulled all of them out and went like, holy crap, I have so many. So it's something I collect without even consciously knowing. It's just when I see one and it calls to me, I buy that deck. It's just something so wonderfully compelling about tarot cards. They are just magical, and I see them, and I think of all the dark secrets and incense and smoke and, and just that magic that has drawn me since I was a child, and I don't feel complete without them. I have them everywhere in my house. I even carry one in my car and in my purse. I mean, they're everywhere. <laughs> They are beautiful pieces of art. Each one is an original piece of art to help you foresee a, you know, an unknown path ahead of you. And the nice thing is, is nothing is set in stone. When you do your tarot, you're not telling the world, this is it. This is your only fate, your only future. They are showing you the options for you to take control and change your fate. And so I love that. It's that proof that we are not powerless at the hands of fate, that we actually have control in sh shaping and forming our lives. And I think that's why witchcraft in general called to me when I was younger, is I was so powerless at that time. I'm so feeling that I had no say in my life. And then here I was given this gift of, here's all this magical tools and abilities for you to shape your future. And for me, that's what's so wonderful about the tarot cards is they're unlocking a key and helping you control and direct your fate. And so I absolutely love them. So I wanted to share my collection with you. And we're going to start with my very first deck which is my Vampire Tarot. It was the very first one that I purchased for myself almost 20 years ago, and it has been with me through everything. It's the one I taught myself how to read cards through, and it has stayed with me this whole time. I actually keep it at home on my altar. And it is the most important deck to me. And this one I will never give away. It will probably always stay with me. The rest of them are just fun, but they don't have that same emotional pull. I was in a vampire stage at that age. Um, I'm sure many of us were, but what can I say? Buffy the Vampire and Angel really inspired me. So my vampire tarot, I love it because across the board, see the art is just stunning. Each deck has a unique way of showing those same cards. So that is the Vampire Tarot. And then I have tons of other. I have the Shaman Tarot. I've never actually read with this deck. Um, I do like it very much, and I was very attracted to it. It's more inspired art-wise, um, stylistic. It's a little more Native American and South American uh, Native cultures. You can see some of that influence. It's the Shaman deck. We have my Dragon Tarot, which I actually don't have a case for because the case got damaged a long time ago. It's one of my older decks. I know I got this within the first use, years of practicing. I have read with this one, and I like the artwork very much on it. I don't actually recall the name of this deck. It is no longer in a case, so I don't have its name. But it is one of the most stunningly beautiful ones, and I love it. And I 
carried it for years in my purse. Um, I mean, the detail is just fantastic and phenomenal. Unfortunately, when you carry tarot decks in your purse, sometimes things spill and it got stuck together and damaged, and it is no longer carried in my purse because of the risk to uh, my tarot decks. I stopped carrying one one in my purse until I found this little mini tarot deck and they're actually pocket size and so they fit very comfortably into a purse and can stay protected in their own case and not get damaged they are absolutely stunning and the detail is just incredible and it's lovely because they're small enough i can always carry them with me i have my tarot of the witches which is just absolutely entertaining and fun and I have read with this one a time or two, and I just like it. It's just, it's a fun cartoon animation. They tell really fun stories, a lot of details and symbolism, and I just love these ones. This is another deck without a case, and I have forgotten the title of it, but the artwork is fantastic. All of them, they're just so pretty. Um, this one I think I found in Seattle when I was up there teaching one time. And it was fun. I just found it in a random little occult store. I found this one and then one other in Seattle. Um, they were in different stores, but they were both fun and they reminded me of that trip. And so they were a cool adventure. The Tarot of the Old Path. I have used this on more than one occasion to do readings. It has beautiful artwork. And again, they get damaged because they stay in my purse. The witchy tarot, I hunted down. I saw it online, fell in love with it, and found it in this little pagan shop that used to be in Folsom. It was a very small little pagan shop, and she sold just a few items, made some stuff. She wasn't there long, uh, but long enough for me to go in there and find my witchy tarot. This one was a uh, birthday present one year from a friend. They found it and it came with a book and everything and that was really sweet it came with a full upper and major and minor arcana so that was really cool and then i have the celestial tarot which i've never actually used the undersea tarot which is fun cartoon animated um has really cool artwork um i think i've used it once the the new paladini i really like the new paladini it has got really vibrant bright colors in all of the animation and it's fun um, I've used it once or twice but not a ton like my main go-to ones are like my witchy tarot um, my vampire tarot the you know the original old school Rider weight tarot which everyone needs this one I actually keep in my to go um, pagan ritual stuff in my car because it is a must have tarot deck that you basically every witch starts with. I didn't. I started with Vampire Tarot, but I do have a traditional writer way for when I do spell work and stuff, it comes in handy. And I do readings with that one too, when I'm being more of a traditionalist. Another extremely pretty deck is the Botticelli. It is actual gold inlay on it. I don't know if it's real gold, but it's gold filigree. And so all the cards shimmer. So pretty. I've read with that one. Um, Deviant Moon, I got because I was in a mood and I was like, yeah, that's cool. But I actually have never read with it because it just doesn't connect with me on that same level. So I think someday I will end up giving it to someone who, uh, feels connection to it. Um, my Alchemy Tarot, I found in Seattle in this little dark, uh, little pagan occult shop that was just a random discovery and find. And I've never used it. Uh, but it's a little on the darker side of art and animation. Um, absolutely love it, but it's one of those things. I own so many decks, and I don't always read that, you know, you don't always see one. So this one actually stays in my bedroom. It's turned into a little bit of art on the wall, but it's a very fun It's very fun to have your craft around you. And so I do love my little alchemy one. I will use it someday, I promise. Um, well, I have the goddess tarot because you have to have a goddess tarot. You know, it's a traditional tarot, but it's based on the goddesses, so you don't have uh, 
some of the same ones. It's not an oracle deck. It is a tarot because I don't really like. But each one is named after a goddess representation. So it's really cool because you get to go through the pantheon of goddesses in this deck. It's a little bit of an odd shaped deck. It's a little wider. Um, but I really like this one. I think I've read with it maybe once. Um, again, too many decks. Um, some of my newest finds are my dark wood tarot which you saw in my unboxing and this one i have yet to read with but i am super well, actually i read for two people with this one i love it it's so beautiful um it might be my new favorite and then i have my occult tarot which is a little on the darker side because it does play and with demonic um because it's about alchemy and the use of summoning demons and so each one is represented by an actual demon so i'm not totally squeamish about those things like some people really are but i have yet to read with it because it's only i've only had it over a few weeks and i've been busy at work <laughs> this one was a super random find this is my uh tarot deck that i got from spirit halloween of all places and I think this is the best $10 deck I have ever found. Actually, I've never found a $10 deck. Tarot decks were 20 bucks and up usually. And this one was like nine something dollars. And each one has a really cool artwork and character representing. And I love it. I think this is fantastic. I cannot wait to read with this one. It was like such the most random find. I was like, is this even a real deck? And it was, and it was really good. It has the major and minor arcana. It's a whole deck. This one I found, it's the Tattoo Tarot. And it's all that stylized old school tattooing. And I found this um, at Spencer's, I think. Yeah, at Spencer's Gift. I have one Oracle deck. Um, I'm not a big fan of Oracle decks. And the reason is I don't read Oracle decks. Tarot cards, you know, the rules are so whatever deck you get, if it's a tarot deck, you can read it just fine because they're all the same. If you get the devil, you know, it stands and represents this and this, and then you just go off your intuition. But Oracle decks have whole new rules and you have to learn the rules for that deck and it doesn't apply to all your other decks. And so it just gets annoying that every new Oracle deck you get is different. And I know some people love their Oracle decks, but I've really never used this one because I like tarot decks, not Oracle decks. And of course you have to have a gypsy witch fortune telling cards and they teach you how to fortune tell the traditional way with a regular playing card deck so you can play poker and do your tarot readings at the same time play poker and tell your fortune ah. <laughs> and then last but not least is my zombie tarot deck i love zombies i have even before they got super popular and before everything got inundated and destroyed and i absolutely fell in love with this deck it's that pop kind of I don't know 1950s Cold War era and then everything's turned zombie so it's just fantastic I absolutely love this deck so there you have it that is my tarot collection and I have a lot of them I do have a lot a lot a lot a lot I'm not joking when I said I actually have 25 decks and who knows how many I will have by the time I'm like 60. I don't know. That's like 19 more years. So we'll find out. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys later.